Hi, I'm Iberi Inhanli. You're welcome to Edifest TV. And in our class today, we're going to look at microorganisms around us. In our content today, we're going to define microorganisms and also know microorganisms and the diseases they cause. Then lastly, we're go going to also um, talk on the prevention of diseases caused by microorganisms. Microorganisms, which can also be called microbes, are found virtually everywhere except for environments that have been made artificially sterile by humans. Now, microorganisms can be defined as organisms which cannot be seen by naked eyes. It can only be seen with the aid of a microscope. Down to the types of microorganisms and the disease they cause. Number one, bacteria. Bacteria cause typhoid fever, dysentery, cholera, syphilis, anthrax, tuberculosis, gonorrhea, leprosy, and a host of others. The second type of microorganism in our class today is the algae. And the algae cause amnesic shellfish poisoning and diuretic shellfish poisoning. And down to the next, we have the fungi. The fungi causes candidiasis, aspergillosis, yeast infection, and ringworm. The next is the protozoa. Protozoa cause sleeping sickness, cardiasis, and malaria. Then lastly, we're going to look at viruses. Viruses cause smallpox, measles, polio, rabies, Ebola fever, hunter fever, and the COVID-19. Now, how do microorganisms spread from one person to another? One, microorganisms spread through food and drinks. Two, sneezing or coughing. Now, they also spread through direct contact. Then lastly, they spread through the air. Prevention of the spread of diseases caused by microorganisms. Now, in this section, I'm going to look out how these diseases can be prevented. Number one, wash your hands before handling food, especially after using the toilet. Two, cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing to prevent microorganisms from spreading into the air. Three, do not share personal items such as toothbrush, towel, and comb. In conclusion, most of the microbes in humans live in harmonious existence with human cells. But disease and infection can be caused when this balance is disrupted or when the body or immune system is weakened. Our review questions for today's class. 1. What are microorganisms? 2. Mention the major types of microorganisms. 3. How can microbes be transmitted? Now, when you're done answering these questions, you could send your answers to the email address below. Thank you and have a good day.